G'day guys, Single Issue Steve here again with my next instalment of Five Minutes of Metal. So for those of you who've been watching my segments previously, thank you very much, I appreciate it. And thank you for showing some interest in a different kind of content we wanna to bring to you on Aussieverse and that is music. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about one of my top three all time favorite albums. Now I'm not exactly sure where my top three rank, but this is definitely probably second or first. And that is Skid Row's Slave to the Grind. This was a complete change from the first album. So the first album got a lot of airplay, you know, songs like I Remember You was a massive hit. Uh, you've got 18 and Life and Peace of Me as well, and, and also Youth Gone Wild, which is pretty much um, a bit of an anthem for them early on. Now, when Slave to the Grind was released and that first song, Monkey Business, kicks in and just hearing Sebastian Bach's vocals on that first track, you're instantly hooked. It is probably one of the best albums of all time, I reckon. Um, and there's not one single filler or shit track on the whole entire album. I mean, there's great stuff like Monkey Business. Um, you've got Slave to the Grind as well, which is an absolute cracking track. Um, the Politically Incorrect, Get the Fuck Out. And some really strong power ballad kind of music as well. So stuff like um, Quicksand Jesus, is a really, really great track as well. And that just keeps building and building and building and the crescendo at the end and Sebastian's vocals are just amazing. And same with Wasted Time as well. My favorite track though off this album is Living on a Chain Gang. And I just love the way it gallops along. Plus also to just vocally um, after the, the lead break with the guitar and, and then when Sebastian starts kicking in and it just goes up and up and up and up. It really again shows his vocal range. Now, if you haven't heard this album, you really, really should check this out because this is absolutely sensational. Uh, what year was it released? I can't remember now. I think it was about 92 or 93, somewhere like that. Very, very, very good album to check out. Um, it's interesting though, talking about Skid Row at the moment, at the time this video was recorded, they've just, their late, uh, latest singer, Eric Gronwall, who was the lead singer of the band Heat, he actually joined them for a while and I thought he is an amazing replacement for Sebastian. They've had a few other singers, which I'll touch on in a sec, but um, due to health issues, he's actually left. So they've gone through five singers now with Sebastian Bach, um, you've got Johnny Solinger, you've got uh, Tony Harnell, who was with TNT and also Eric Gromwell as well. And ZP Theatre from Dragon Force actually sang with them for a while too. So. There's rumours, there's always rumours with these guys about you know, potentially getting it back together. Um, the band don't really like Sebastian still at the moment, but Bark, Sebastian Bark is really keen to get back with them. Um, I don't know what it'll be like, a bit of a nostalgia would be pretty cool. Can Sebastian sing like this anymore? Not really, but can he still sing? Hell yes, he can, still one of my favourite singers. So this is super heavy. This is absolutely nothing like the first album. And the third album, Subhuman Race, they started to go a little bit grungy because that's when grunge and everything started to come back in. Um, I'll be honest with you, I didn't like that album at first. It's grown on me over the years, but this is just pure metal. That's all it is. This is just pure metal. So many really great tracks. As I mentioned before, there's not one single filler on this entire album. So if you like, something a bit heavier than your soaring vocals like you'd normally get with some of those kind of bands. This by far is an absolute ass kicker. So I highly recommend Skid Row's Slave to the Grind. The other interesting thing too, um, the cover was actually done by Sebastian Bach's father, who's an artist. So there's a little bit of, uh, little bit of tip of information for you as well. So I would highly recommend checking out. This album is in my playlist all the time. And whenever I'm listening to say YouTube music, and a song from this album comes on, I never skip it. I always sit there in the car and I crank the shit out of it and just blare it out. So I hope everyone likes metal around me at the traffic lights because you've got no choice. But yeah, Skid Ray, Slave to the Grind, absolute fantastic album, ball terror, pure metal at its best, I reckon. Check it out. Rock on, everyone.